Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom Made Possible by BenQN Rogue. Colors, they are everywhere, and colors are actually what drives most photographers and videographers mad. But they're also so incredibly interesting because, well, colors are a great way to tell stories. Now, I always say to people, when I make a picture, it's the picture that's captured on the sensor. But later on in Photoshop or Lightroom or Capture One or whatever software you use, it's where I start building my story. So, of course, the, the image you take on location or in the studio is already part of that story. Everything should be right, right? But as soon as you start building the story, there's something that's very important. And I'm going to tell you a very simple story. Now, imagine this. You're on a graveyard. And there's a vampire very, very close. What is the first color that comes into mind? Well, some people will say red because of the blood. But if you look at all those horror movies, what is the main dominant color? It's blue. And why blue? Very simple. It's cold, it's dark, it's creepy, right? Have you ever been at a graveyard at night? It isn't really blue, right? It's, well, pretty much a normal color. Another story. We're down two kilometers on the bottom of the ocean in a concrete bunker without any windows and we turn on the lights. What color does the light have? It's the normal color, right? Because we're in a concrete bunker, we open up the light source, it should be the same color. Then why in the abyss from James Cameron? Everything is blue. You got it, because it mimics being underwater. Now go to Titanic, everything is a little bit more brownish. And why? Very simple, because it was an old movie. It's not really an old movie, but you know what I mean, right? They want to capture that scene. The best example, however, is the Matrix. Everything that's green is inside the Matrix. Now, as soon as they go to the outside world, everything has a normal color. And the list goes on and on and on. Terminator, blue. It, it's, I don't even want to <laughs> list all the movies, but every single movie uses tinting. Let's call it tinting. So how do you tint your images in Photoshop, Lightroom or Capture One? I don't want to go into that because very simply there are so many different ways. Personally I like DxO Film Pack, Alien Skin Exposure or just play around with curves. If you look on my channel there are so many different videos about those topics. Okay, but how do I make sure that for example if I tint scene one, scene two in video will be exactly the same or if I tint image one Image 2, which was shot on a different location with different colors, will be exactly the same. Well, there's a very simple tool for that, and that's called the X-Rite Color Checker. Now, this is one of them. Oh, and by the way, if you ask me why are there Apple logos on there, because recently you switched to PC, right? Yeah, that's right. But these are totally black, and in a studio you can actually lose them very, very easily. By using these logos on them, they actually are a little bit easier to find back. Okay, so this is the color checker passport. This is the one that you actually use for photography. You just take a picture like this, make sure your model takes a funny face, otherwise the software doesn't work, they still fall for that. So anyway, so you use this for proper color, and at that point you have the perfect color. But you don't want perfect color. You don't want to Instagram the heck out of a shot, of course, but you want to tint the image. Well. The cool thing about this is if you shoot it on location and you shoot it in the studio and you shoot it with different light sources, if the basis is absolutely the same for all those images, it means that you only have to use one preset in your favorite tinting software and all those images will look exactly the same. Now, Some people tell me like, Frank, I don't use color checkers because I change the colors all the time. If you want a color your images and they look different all the time, feel free. <laughs> Don't use a color checker. Why should you use a color checker? But if you want the same look all the time, use that color checker for the very simple reason. Only then you have continuity. Do you also have something like that for video? Yes, x also has the video passport. And this one is really interesting. 
because you can set your white balance and your focus on this part. And if you do it the other way around, you actually can put your clipping here for your zebra, so make sure that there's detail in the black and whites. And you of course can make your color profiling. Now which software supports the color profiling? There are many plugins available, but look at for example the free software DaVinci Resolve. It actually supports the color checker straight out of the box. So, no more excuse for colors that move around during different setups. Use your color checker passport products or any other product that gives you accurate colors. But we actually advise you to use the x rite products because they rock. Hey, this is Frank Doroff signing off for this video of Digital Classroom. If you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, smash that like button because we really like that. And of course, leave comments below and tell other people about it so we can grow our channel. See you again next time. Bye bye.